Next, we are going to have a remote presentation by James Amati. He's a product manager with deep lying interest in mobility. With this talk, he hopes to give more context to various points of interest in our communities, thereby enriching navigation experiences. Um, and he uh, will explore the power of Wikidata and OpenStreetMap by performing simple queries for different use cases. Enjoy. I welcome to my very brief talk. Uh, given context to the places we love, the power of OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. Now, my name is James Amate, and this is what we are going to learn. We are going to learn, um, we are going to first of all define what the OSM and Wikidata models are and how we can and why they, they are. Um, best suited for each other. Second one is to explore the interconnections between each of them. There are, set, there are certain ways in which they complement each other. We're going to explore that. And the third one is to learn how to share data between um, the two platforms. And finally, if we have time, we would look at exploring um, the Western data how to query basically the power of communication. Who am I? My name is James Mati and I am a product manager by occupation. I am focused on mobility and transportation use cases, technology, and I'm also very enthusiastic about open data. Happy to contribute to both OSM and Wikimedia projects. I have some knowledge them. And then finally, I live in a crowd, which I think is a What is It is an open and editable database. It is actually the biggest open source map database. It recently celebrated it. So it has been around for a while. It represents data as unique ways and relations. Now nodes are basically points um, and then ways are combination of points and then relations uh, are a combination of ways. So if you are trying to build in, building usually has like combinations. These are just that Logic. And now, um, because maps are a big, um, it's used to uh, represent data in base. As a result, you cannot really store, um, can really enhance the knowledge of it unless you have something else that supports it. So, on its own, each node on Sheet map is very useless unless it comes together to form um, a way and a relation like a link. So that's where Wikidata comes in. Now, Wikidata is a structured open knowledge base that stores information as entities. Now, entities are usually bodies of knowledge and they contain several pieces of information. And um, it's made up of items and their property. So for example, a place, um, and then the property of that place could be the capacity of the country. Or a place could be a building, and the property of that building could be a museum. So, yeah, um, entities can be linked together by statements, which is an expression of an item. Usually a statement will contain things like subjects, which is what the item is about. Um, a predicate, which is a property of the statement. And then the object, the value that the statement is making. Now, I'll show you a bit of that um, in the demo. 
but without wasting too much time, we are going to actually modify water places because we need to, in order to understand why we need to combine both of them, we need to understand what the place is. Sorry. Um, so, so, John Agnew, who is a political geographer, he gave a bit of a mathematical definition to a place, which is um, a sense of the place is location plus local plus sense of location. Now, these two, these two things have to come together to form a place, and we are going to define them for you to get a The first one is the location, which is basically um, so <clears throat> before we even go into the location, um, Tim Cresswell actually took um, Agnew's information and expanded the so he defines a place as a space as um, that people have have attached to. So that a sense of attachment and that meaningfulness. A place is just a, a piece of space, right? And I think we should be able to read a book as it is very. It's very insightful as to what. A place from a geographical and sociological. Now, the location. The location is just a physical position on the Earth's surface, usually represented as longitudes and latitude. It's nothing more than that. So, it, it usually, some things like a GPS. The location. That's why when you book a ride, the riders in the package is because of your coordinates. So this is what the location is. And the car is a bit more um, human geography, but it combines the features of the area, such as uh, buildings, roads, and some na some natural features such as landform, mountains, climate. All of these concepts from the car as it is adds a bit of life to a place. So the, and finally we define what a sense of place is, which are two different things. Now a sense of place is the emotional and psychological attachment that people have to it's usually defined or influenced by their experiences of the Memories they have or stories they had. Now, unfortunately, history map can be able to map on the car, but to be able to tell the story of a place, cannot do that unless you combine it with a place. So, context they say is key. So, without context, you will not really understand. Why a place is valid. I'm going to give you an example, but the context that brings about conversations around heritage, where it's a key component of a sense of place. It is the things that make a place feel familiar and special, and usually the things that connect to the past and the other. So, long story short, Heritage is what makes a place. Without the heritage, it is just a piece of land. It has no meaning in your life and no significance. Now, I'll use an example of a piece of which is a very small town in Italy. And this is what it looks like. The population is around 98,000. On the surface of it, it does not look like a place you want to visit. But if I told you that it is the best place in Calais, 
with a fill of Astronomer. And also, this way, the Leaning Tower. Now, the Leaning Tower is a building that flies through. What's the real number? Not a street building. It's actually a proper building. It's one of the. It's actually a heritage. I'm not big. And it also has the University of Pisa, which is one of the oldest universities in the world. And of course, it was attended by Galileo uh, himself, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, and Nicola. Who we all know are very important parts of history. So now, if I give you this context about Pisa, you are not able to attach some sense of belonging or importance to Pisa and why. You might want to visit there. I am sure most of you went to Singapore because of things that you heard about Singapore and things you want to see about Singapore. And this is the theme for our discussion today. So the magic usually happens when we put USM together to create a comprehensive um, and definitive record of heritage and location. Um, like I said, because it's vector move, you cannot store tech as well as a gravity that Wikimedia is, so that you can be able to link pieces of knowledge together to form a whole unit of work. Right, so, what time is used to provide a special information, such as the location that I defined, <coughs> and then Wikidata can provide descriptive information such as the history and significance. Now, to link OSM to Wikidata, you would need, uh, you need a laptop and internet. You would also need both the Wikidata and the OSM account. You would need a browser, of course, or a Joseph Wikidata, which I'll talk about briefly. And so you, you need and it's um, stated it here, slides, and of course you need um, a plugin. Now I'll talk about the plugins when I do the demonstration on Josem. So what is Josem? Josem is basically index application that is used to edit data. Uh, you can use the browser to edit. I use to edit with them. Use the browser to edit um, OSM, but then you need to be able to leverage more um, detailed sites of OSM um, chosen to be able to do that. So, for things like data validation, so basically, uh, enhanced mapping productivity, it's actually better to use chosen than to um, maybe the browser. So I'll show you how both of them are done and then uh, decide which one you want to use. So this is kind of a demo and I'll take it to straight to the history club. Uh, I actually opened this before so that Demo. So this is the common common memorial park. This is a park that was built um, in memory of Ghana's prince that was very recently. And so when I checked the space, it did not have a Wikidata item. So this is a Wikidata item that I added. A few minutes ago. If you check, you could see data here that has been added and the items. Now, to be able to add that, you would have to click here in the tag section and then you add wiki data. Okay, so because I've added wiki data, you will not see this. As you can 
can also add Wikipedia to it. I will not show you how to add Wikipedia to it here. I'll just do them for that so that you can get the best of both worlds. So this is basically how you add data to Wikipedia. Just add a new tag and copy the identifier which is here and then you are able to then paste it. Now if you use JOSM for that, if it's JOSM, let me give you a bit of a background. When JOSM is basically uh, an editor like I said, but before you use JOSM you need to install plugins. But first of all you need to connect your your OSM accounts to be able to make changes here that would reflect on you. To do that, you go to preferences and then in your preferences, you go to your OSM server. In your OSM server, you could use your basic authentication, which is your username and password, you can use OS1, which I have used. Um, so once, once you connect, you would have to go to remote control. This is usually disabled, you would have to enable it. We would allow you the um, JOSM to do that. And then be able to download um, things directly. Also. And then finally, you need to go to the plugins. I've already installed some of them, but you need to go to all. You need to go to the available plugins and then search for Wiki. Okay, so because I have already installed them, they are here, but when you search for Wiki, you just check them. And you uh, you click on the update plugins and install them. Now these are some of the things we are going to use to be able to add Wikipedia to Jason. Now that you have that entire setup, you have to sorry. What to do that? Yeah, so now we can download some data. We just click on turn next to the other and use remove all. And use remote control. This, this will open what you saw in the browser in JOSM and you can be able to now. Oh, map. <laughs> Don't let this scare you into the lack of imagery. So you select bring your imagery, and that should give us. Now we can see that there's a bit of an offset here, but you, we are not going to tackle how to fix our offsets, maybe for a little bit. So, as Wikipedia at Cora Tool, you can go here, you can actually go to Wikipedia and find uh, If you go to Wikipedia, you can search for, um, I think it's there, but This is the so the museum park has a wiki data item, but the memorial park in itself does not. Now we can see that this is something we can we can improve. So to be able to do that, there are there are a couple of ways. 
can come here to do a search Find um, a copy, or we can look for copy the, the ID. We can just search, copy the ID, or we can just search for, for it right here, and it should. Would give us this. So now we've been able to add and then also to add Wikipedia code. Let's, let's download. Um, yes. So now this is one we are going to access you. So you can see. Now, this is the place we would add, um, we would add details of, we would add a wiki data right on here, so that it can now be associated. And then when you finish, you have to upload. Because I've already done that in the browser, it's not reflected. But you can also do the same for Wikipedia articles. Since it does not have an actual not search for it, but hopefully this this will be a call for me to start an So that brings us to the end of the demo. If if you want to query what query was um You use overpass tables. Overpass is like API. It it uses a query language much like it uses a query language much like Spark QL or um Now, and now I can the wizard to so this is basically a key and value kind of query. I've already stated them, I can do it like that, and it would show me um, all the show me all uh, I'm interested in the size because it's, it's usually a query is based on what you want so if you don't see what you're looking for uh, so now that you should be picking up all the new and you can be able to appreciate how many more needs are added. This is for places like early health sites. If you live in a place where there's not too much information, you can be able to add it. Right, so this is very much the end of my demo. Um, before I leave, I'll leave you with the first words from my last word. Our heritage is a precious gift, one that we must cherish and protect. Our heritage is one of the active points of the And I hope that going forward, we can be able to collaborate more on each project that we can extend a bit of knowledge that is available. Now here are some resources that we use. So this is where you can find information about this plugin. Uh, this is how you can create a account and then 
the bus table. So, if you want to reach me, these are the ways you can reach me on LinkedIn. Uh, um, I'm also in, in the group, and this is Thank you very And thank you very much, James. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a very short break. The time now is 3.21. So we'll see you back here in 10 minutes at 3.31. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good break. We'll see you very shortly for the fireside chat with uh, our panelists.